What's up guys, Volt here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install the Twilight Forest mod for Minecraft version 1.4.7, and if you're watching this in a later version, it should all work the same. So what you're going to need for this mod is Twilight Forest and the Minecraft Forge. Now, to download these, go ahead and go into the description, and first go to the Twilight Forest uh, Minecraft forum link, it'll take you here, then just go ahead and click this big blue download button, and then... Of course, all the uh, videos and uh, pretty much everything about this mod can be found on here. So uh, go back to here if you're wanting to uh, maybe learn a little bit more about this mod. Now once you have this downloaded, go ahead and put it on your desktop and then head on over to the Minecraft Forge forums, which will be in the description as well. Once you're here, go ahead and click Releases. And then once you're in here, you're going to click the download, uh, the latest version, which as of right now is Forge 6.6.0. But uh, if it's in a different version, go ahead and just download the latest version. Now once you have both of those downloaded, go ahead and put them both on your desktop, as I have here. And then you're going to open up your uh, start menu, go down to the search programs and files, and type in percent app data percent. Go into your roaming folder, and then go ahead and open up your .minecraft. Now if you haven't forced updated, go ahead and do that right now. I'll go ahead and do it as well, just to make sure, because... Uh, I might not have force update before this video. I'm not. Re I don't remember. So go ahead and click options force update. Click done and then log in. Now I'll go ahead and speed up this video right here so you guys don't have to wait. All right. So now Minecraft is booted up. As you can see, no mods, no nothing. Minecraft 1.4.7. Go ahead and quit game. Now go ahead and open up your bin, and then in here you should see. A Minecraft jar file go ahead and right click that open with WinRAR now uh, you don't have to use WinRAR you can use 7-zip or whatever archiving program you prefer but if you don't have anything uh, go ahead and download WinRAR link is in the description it's not a virus I've been told it's a virus before and it's not so once you have that open go ahead and delete meta-inf because if you don't delete this you will get black screen 110 percent guaranteed so go ahead and delete meta-inf next you're going to open up Minecraft Forge now, as you see in here, there's a meta-inf. Uh, you can just leave that for now. Go ahead and highlight everything by pressing Control a dragging and drop it into your Minecraft.jar, and then click OK. Now, once this is done, once again, delete meta-inf. Click Yes. So now, you do not need Forge open, and you don't need your Minecraft.jar open anymore. So uh, just go ahead and minimize your bin, though, so we can move Minecraft Forge away. Now we're going to run Minecraft real quick. We're not installing the Twilight Forest mod yet. We're just going to run Minecraft. Uh, this will make sure that Forge is installed. As you can see, uh, that thing that just popped up means Forge was running. And when Forge runs, it uh, will create a mods folder. As you can see, it's uh, up here. So go ahead and quit game. Now since we just ran Forge, we can go back into our .minecraft. And it created a mods and core mods folder for us. And I think it created a config as well. So, uh go ahead and open up this mods folder and then all you do is simply drag the twilight forest mod into your mods folder and that's it uh... now go ahead and click this x button and you can minimize everything and go ahead and open up minecraft i'll go ahead and show you guys that it did work go ahead and log in for just setting up your minecraft environment go ahead and make this big screen Alright, so now you can see that it says four mods loaded when at first it said three mods. Uh, you can see the Twilight Forest is now in here. So uh, I'll go ahead and go into single player real quick. I think I have a world already generated. Uh, if okay, sorry about the crash that you just saw. That was because um, I really screwed myself over when I tried to play on a map that I had been playing with different mods. But we're going to go ahead and create a new world. Uh, set it to creative. This will work now. Go ahead and launch Minecraft. That shouldn't have happened for you guys. I apologize for that. But, uh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Loading world. And we are in. As I said, that crash was because I was loading a world that was uh, corrupt because I took some mods off. But, uh, yeah, as you can see here, everything's working perfectly. Go ahead and go into, uh, also, if you're in creative mode, just click this back arrow, or this over arrow, this right arrow, and uh, you'll see the Twilight Forest tab, go ahead and click that, and you can see all the Twilight Forest mods, now, uh, oh, sorry about that, um, but yeah, this is really cool mod, I highly recommend it, now, uh, 
obviously you're wondering, well, what what is this mod? What does this mod really give me? If if you know nothing about this mod, well, basically you build a portal, which I'm not gonna build because I am not 100% sure on how to build that, which I should have learned how to do. But you build a portal, a portal, and it takes you to the Twilight Forest uh, area, I guess. It's like a whole new dimension, and you get all these cool things. Uh, let's see what does this do? Yeah, you can get all these cool things, fight all these cool new mobs, uh, get all this cool new armor, and it's just crazy. This mod's really cool. And uh, if you're wondering how to set this up on a server and play with your friends, uh, just request it down below in the comment section, and I will gladly post a tutorial about it so uh, you and your friends can both play it. So, uh, yeah, that is pretty much all for this uh, tutorial. If Again, if you have any questions or uh, any feedback you'd like to give me, uh, just leave it in the comment section below. I try to check all the comments, and uh, if I can help you, I try to get back to you as soon as possible. But uh, yeah, if you have a mod you'd like to request me to do, leave that in the comment section as well. And if this worked for you, please give it a like button and uh, maybe favorite it. That would that helps me out. It shows me that uh, you guys enjoyed it. But uh, also, if you'd like to hit that subscribe button, I'm doing some uh, gameplay actually now. Uh, when I first created my channel, I wasn't doing much gameplay. But uh, gameplay videos, but now I'm starting up some new series. A uh, series I have currently going on is GTA, which if you click the uh, video that just popped up, you can go ahead and check out the first video of that series. And then uh, I'm going to start up a new series that I'm not going to talk about much yet. Uh, you'll just have to wait till that comes out. So make sure to subscribe so you can be first to see all those videos. But that is all for now, and I'll see you guys later.